Absolutely not. But, and I know you are not going to remember because you're so, you know, self-centered in what you do and taking your selfies and stuff. Anyway, but, you know, like, so I made sure, like, he knew the shit that I did and I knew the shit that I did. So when I had a conversation, I'm like, no, this didn't line up. You didn't mention this. Mm-hmm. I need you to mention this. And I'm glad that I did because, again, he left. So now I love the manager, the person that I'm under now. He's not really my manager. They don't know what they're doing. But as far as the alignment. But now it's like I can say, hey, such and such, like, here's my review. Here's my focus. Here's what I wanted to do and what I was working on before he left. Mm-hmm. Right. Now you can review. You can see the type of person because, again, this is now my internal resume of what I have done. Now you know what the type of person I am because you might see me sitting, like, chilling, not doing something one day when you all pass the desk, but that doesn't mean that's the type of person I am. I just might not have nothing to do that day or I'm done at work. But let me show you my resume internally, what I have done for the yeah. last 10 minutes yeah. so you know who I am. And this is what I want to do because as soon as that manager left, I, he told me he was leaving. I went right next door to his my now manager. I need a meeting, 30 minutes at least minimum Yeah. so you know who I am. Right. Because I, I want to have the, I, I I don't have speak the same language that that person right. spoke. Exactly. So my language is different as far right. as how I view my work. Exactly. And, and I know your language is going to be different Absolutely. because you're not the same person. Yep. And I think, I'm thankful for it because he is, because like he was like, oh, this is great. This is information we needed. Let me set. He was so proactive. He's like, I'm going to set you up with meetings with these people on my team. And they're going to listen to you. And I'm having, like, I'm learning coding and stuff now. Because he helped me out by just listening to my ideas. He's like, you need more background in this. So let me sit you with this such this person so they can teach you how to do it. But in turn, I'm teaching this. It's like, oh, y'all, we don't do that here. I know I've been saying it for the last two years. I don't understand why right. you don't do it. Because he's a multiplier. Exactly. Y'all gotta read that book. I'm, I wrote it down. Wrote I'm it going down. to. You said As you're sitting like, here, like, again, my down. favorite word is I'm triggered because I feel like he was diminishing my potential and taking on credit. And I'm just like, and again, it's crazy. But what have you ever noticed also in your jobs, depending on not just the gender, but the race of the manager, how they interact and what they do with your career? Ish. Now, but the crazy part is if you want to hear something crazy, I always have issues with black managers. I don't know what it is, but I have issues with black managers. Black females. Black. When I say I wanted to square up with this one chick one time, and then I. All right, anyway. So when I said I wanted to square up with her so bad, I have issues with black. And I don't understand. Again, maybe it goes back to fear of what you see my potential could be and like what you're in your position in. But I. And it's just crazy. It's like, why do we do that to each other? But I've noticed, like, I, I handle people of any nationality better than I do my own Hmm. and especially female I can't do female black managers and I don't know why I always ask myself that and what's crazy is my mother is one and I'm just like I handle she's fine so I just I don't understand it but then when he did it I'm like all right so is it a cultural thing or is it just a you thing but I really had to sit back and think like why is it I never have issues with anybody else. That's interesting for me because I'm transitioning from having spent time um, reporting to higher ups that were of different cultures than me, mm-hmm. of of different age brackets than me, different social economic demographics than me, and now the the role that I'm taking on, she is the person who I report to is a black woman. Mm. She's a little older than me, but I am extremely excited mm-hmm. to report to her. Um, I hope I don't come up against the same things. Mm-hmm. Um, in in the, the conversations that we have, I don't feel a, a pet mentality. Mm-hmm. Um, but who knows? Because a couple episodes from now, I could be like, y'all, <laughs> listen. But again, I think I'm able to rationalize certain things a certain way mm-hmm. and and I've, I've taken into account a lot of things that have been said to me over the past year or so about how I vocalize my needs and my wants, both professionally and, and personally. Uh, I got this whole don't fuck with me mentality. So hopefully she picks up on that shit. Because if your eyebrows uh, are as close as they are right now, <laughs> she is. Hopefully, hopefully home girl pick up on No, no, no. But, like, I'm really excited. Um, um, I just... I I haven't experienced it. I think the 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 last time I uh, reported to a a woman who was of the same a, a black woman and could 
y'all know. I mean, what the hell? I feel like we black yes. as fuck. Right. right. I'm super black. I'm a black lady. Yes. I'm black. <laughs> I'm black. Black and black and black I reported directly to a black woman. Um, was shit. A long periodical time. And if y'all don't get that, y'all got a Google homegirl who was at the bus stop and the bus wasn't coming. And no, she when she said like, we were waiting for, like, a long we were waiting for a long periodical time. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I know black people, we need sources and dictionaries and we have to do better. Please. God, keep, we always are new. Keep the memes coming though. As Corona. <laughs> right. Corona. Corona. As Corona is on our neck. Girl, you keep, got that Rona? Keep the memes coming because a long periodical time will trans. My, my son, who's 13. Says a long period of time because I I showed him that jump, but yeah. It was but we care about your jobs. Don't get fired. Absolutely. Don't say don't it in your meeting. Don't say it. Don't, don't, don't say, say it in their meeting. Don't say a long period of time because <laughs> Susie and Ethan are gonna be emailing each other, and be like, like the bitch gotta go. <laughs> what is period of time? But no, you know the blacks. <laughs> <laughs> that that must be that Ebonics right that was floating around right. <laughs> But no, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I, my my issues have been not really the things that I experienced was you know my my most recent per, higher up that I reported to would say, "Wow, you know a lot." I'm like, "I do, homegirl." Like, what are the you fuck? What the right. fuck are you doing? You are. Master like, said I could read. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. Back, back. She didn't hire me. I got there before her. Oh. She. I hire her along with our chief of staff. Look mm-hmm. at this. I wish I could see how <laughs> how Jen's neck snapped. And and one of my very close friends said to me when I when I articulated to, when I articulated that to him, he said, "Well, you can't respect her if you hire her." I absolutely respect her. Mm-hmm. I think she is well versed. Mm-hmm. Um, she's an attorney. I think that she has a significant amount of expertise. But her personality gets in her way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, a lot of us don't o- outgrow that uh, schoolgirl mentality, that catty, gossipy mm-hmm. bullshit. Girls, that ain't, that ain't it. Wednesday, we wear pink. First of all, I don't give a fuck about none of y'all. <laughs> I'm here for my check. Right. <laughs> you know what? I think, I, think, I think that's cultural, too. I ain't clicky. I think they got fucking money. I think that's <laughs> like, that shit is cultural too. Like they want friends and potlucks I and don't. happy hours. I'm not eating. I just want to clock in and clock you got a out. Cat. No, Wait, I'm I don't good. Do potluck, but I do <laughs> have friends. I have all the work friends. That's because I, I you shit from Canada. Girl, because of that smile. Girl. Because of that smile. Meanwhile, no. they know not to put me on that fucking list. I don't want to go. We have group chats. That's when she said jokes. I'm like, not eating me. shit. I'm not cooking <laughs> shit. No, <laughs> nah. You want to go? No. They don't even finish sentence. No. Or when I see the the, the company paid out and. Fuck, why we gotta go? <laughs> I hate that. It blows. Reds it. Quarterly, I'm like, oh, we got that fucking outing coming. Damn. They're so antisocial. Yeah, but I'm happy off. because then I get off at 12 and I, I hurry up. If it's bowling, I'm throwing the ball down the lane. I don't care if it hits a damn pin. I just want to go. Oh. Well, can I tell y'all that our most recent bowling party got got uh canceled because of that Rona? Corona. That Rona got you bowling. Appreciate you. <laughs> so, it got mine too. Yeah. But wait, I'm going to go golfing. All the events golf. that got canceled are going to help my check at the end of the year because y'all clearly have a surplus and TNE is not that tight. So if y'all listening, I'm going to need it. Yeah, yeah, pass that along. Or you know what? Just give it to me in the gift card underneath the table. I really don't care how you do it, but I know y'all got money because we just saved y'all tax implications of this twenty-five dollar gift card. I don't get that shit. No. So, <laughs> so if I can ask you guys personally, um, I know there aren't, um, you know, many. I think the highest we can go to this. There are, I think we got some CEOs and some CFOs and some CEOs listening. Mm-hmm. Let's go to that high level. If you could speak to the folks that you report to mm-hmm. in one sentence, what would you tell them would be the most important thing that a, a black woman needs to to feel or to hear from the person she reports to, to understand that she's valued, to understand that... Um, her performance is being properly evaluated and to understand that she can continue on in the space to be, to be professionally 
to grow professionally in her own right. Mm -hmm. What would you say to that CEO, that CFO, that CF, C, COO? Not necessarily to whomever you report to directly, but talk to them niggas, up, them three niggas up top. <laughs> Let them know. Well, niggas. <laughs> Appreciate you for listening. Right. Thank you. Um, for me, treat me like I'm a unicorn. Mm. Um, it's very rare that you get a lot of, and I'm a, I'm gonna be as humble as I can be, but I'm not gonna be as humble as I can be. Again, ten years experience in what the hell I do in this company. There's not many people that look like me, especially in my department. Now that my manager going, it's two of us. So treat me like I'm the unicorn, and the knowledge and the experience that I have is rare. Hell, treat it like the virus that is going around. You don't know how to contain it or cure it. Ooh. Love me and thank me for it. And you know, like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not, you're not, you haven't seen it before. And obviously I have the background that I have for a reason. I have had come through these different positions for a reason. And I've gotten them for a reason. Value me and treat me again like a unicorn. You don't see it. It comes once in a blue moon. Treat me like the unicorn that I am, and I will give you all that I have, and then you can say thank And you know what? I just want a small thank you. I don't need a company-wide email. You just say thank you, and I just just recognize me the, for the unicorn that I am. Appreciate it. And I appreciate that. Yeah. That's it. What you got? I would just say make sure that I feel heard. Mm. Don't just tell me that you heard what I said because that's just you listening. No, I need you to hear me. Mm. Refer back to the Cosby episode when Bill asked Vanessa, don't just listen. No, I need you to hear, hear what I said. Every single day, act like I'm a valued member of the team. Mm -hmm. Don't just act like I'm your check the box EEO mm. exercise. That's not what I'm here for. I can go to any company and do that. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you are doing things to keep me here. Mm -hmm. You got me. It's just like a relationship. <laughs> You got me. You reeled me in. You was looking cute. Keep my Keep it. Like, you slid me the little offer letter in my DMs. Hit me up on <laughs> Not the Okay? I was here. But <laughs> keep me. Okay? Mm. People ain't just talking about being piped down for no reason. Keep me. That's it. And you got my resume, so you know what I can do. Yes. So you know that there was niggas before you. Right. And, and there will be niggas after you. Plenty. Uh, <laughs> period. Oh. If, if I can add what they said and then give me money, thank you. Yes. Run, <laughs> run, run me my money. money. <laughs> thank you. Run me my money. So what I, as a personal note, a thing that, that it was difficult for me to leave mm -hmm. my most recent place because I get in it. And this is, this, is, this is the thing about my personality. I fall in love with somebody's story. Mm. So if you tell me, like, this is our mission. This is our goal. Right. This is who I am. This is what I stand for. I'm like fucking with it. I'm like, yeah, all in it. Fucking Why do I hear brown sugar? How'd you fall in love with hip hop? Yeah, I'm God. Like, oh, oh, shit. I'm oh, like, gosh. All right. You better talk about brown sugar. All of my nails, like, sink in it. Mm. But if if that's it, I'm, I'm in it until we sink, until I realize that I'm just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm ancillary. Like, you don't really need me to keep this shit floating. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just extra. Mm -hmm. Don't make me feel like extra. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, I need to feel like I'm a part of the team. I right. need to feel like as this organization continues to progress, I'm a pivotal individual in it. I'm an like, asset. Right. I'm, I'm putting shit. And what we all I'm, said. I'm pouring yeah. shit into it. Yep. So, yes, I would like more money. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. But if you ever mm -hmm. say the words to me, wow, that's crazy. You go through a lot. If I were you, I would have quit a long time ago. I'm the fuck out, bitch. Like, you are never <laughs> going to see me again. That's like if a nigga tell you straight up, like, wow. You put up with all my well, shit. You put up with this? Bro, I would have a long period. You know what I mean? You know how many bitches in my DM? Like, wow, that's crazy. Well, here, why not? Bro, I'm plotting my exit. Ooh, Goodbye. <laughs> Like done and done, we good. That's value. I'm good value me. That's crazy. So to not to keep you yeah. guys too long. I don't have no. Oh, skirt, skirt, skirt. Appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> Next segment. Yay! Thank you. Um, this is my favorite. Um, so this is uh the 
you got me fucked up segment All where the we way. talk about where people have us individually and collectively fucked up and we want to talk about microaggressions in the workplace things we might experience